Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's sent me this and they're having trouble. And you see it says it's a curve. But if I move something out of the way, there's my cut line. And then this is a bitmap. And it's 47.83 inches across. So I'm going to nudge. Let me, let me back up here a few steps. Set my nudge factor on something pretty high. And from the one I'm doing it for, I'd set your duplicate distance on zero. Um, so we're grabbing that. In my machine, my computer, it's really having trouble because this bitmap, I can't trace it. it. It locks up my computer. So all we need to do is get that center because this is your cut lines. You know, make sure it's a hairline. And you could reduplicate this shape. And we'll just try it and see how well it works. We're going to take the three-point curve line and we're going to go from there to there and then put a little bit of a curve to it. Then that is a completed object so we can move that out of the way. And we can left-click, right-click, go up to effects, contour, contour to the inside. I'm going to say two inches because it's so big. That's too much. Uh, one inch. And there's kind of that shape. We'll have to look at it. Let's go up to object and break the contour apart. We might not, we might have to manipulate a little bit. But once we take our line away, yeah, it's quite a bit, a little bit different, but you could, you could actually put it right on top of that and, and make it work. Um, I'm not a really big fan because it's really, it's less, it's thicker on top and less on the bottom. So it's not a good contour item, but you could, you know, you could move some nodes around and actually delete some nodes and make it a little more rounder and see what that looks like. Maybe delete that node and, you know, you could move nodes around, you know, when you don't, you don't need the node and we're actually a little bit too big probably now. Um, we could hold down the shift key and have it grow from the inside out just a little bit and then go with that. Now I would make it sealed. So I'm going to now set my nudge factor on 48 inches and I'm going to take my smart fill tool and fill that in and do that. And now you can kind of see that our part is still too big. And that's one thing good about this is a terrible video. I apologize. Uh, hold down the shift and make this smaller still. Now let's just take this away. And by filling in, and you'll get to see what it really looks like. And that looks pretty close to the original. And then left click, right click, and whoop, take your pick tool and make sure that's a hairline it is. And then just delete all this stuff and hit P and put it back in the center of your page. Now you're, you're, you're really asking your laser to cut right to the edge. So uh, be a little wary, wary of that. Um, she's actually cutting this out. And it's going to have a G to it. And anyway, I hope that kind of answered their question. I don't know where the bitmap part came from. I would actually clean this font up a little bit more, but you know, it looks like an indention right there. You know, that to me looks better. I'd actually maybe, Delete some of these nodes, maybe type in 10%, get a little bit flower, more of a flow, you know, like that looks funny right there with the U. And that might be caused by what I did, but you know, that looks better already. You know, then whenever you have two nodes like that, see, there's a, there's a bad spot. Uh, you know, if you'll delete these two nodes and kind of watch, make sure nothing really changed, you're going to get a lot cleaner. Uh, flowing cut. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.